It is 6.27 a.m. and I'm headed out to a boat. Uh, my mom's cousin David is here visiting and is going to, you see, he started off with his boat up in Annapolis, Maryland. Drove it all the way down the east coast uh, into the river here in Florida, came across Lake Okeechobee, and is down here at the Clusahatchee River, right off of our house, and is going to go on the next leg of his trip. So I'm going to go with him for a little bit. I think it'll probably be a five, six hour day, seven hour day, who knows. Depends on speed, but anyway, I've got his charts that he had shipped out to us, and uh, got my stuff packed up. I'm going to go head out on the boat this morning. Got a little worried. Started to look outside. It sounded like it was raining. It's like, oh no, is it pouring rain? I gotta walk to the marina. Take the boat out in the pouring rain, but luckily, it's just the sprinklers. <laughs> Beautiful night though. It's, I think it's about 70 degrees beautiful moon out no breeze right now should be a good day for going out on the boat I don't want to forget that. Well, we're not absolutely dependent on that, but true. It's a good idea to have it. Yeah. It always starts like that, just instantly. Then I give it a few more reps to warm up. We should find the chart. I think it's page 48. Yep. Page We're back at page 29. So checking out our charts here. We're starting in here, Fort Myers side, Cape Coral. We're gonna come out the river. And we could go up through this way, but I think we're gonna go out and around Pine Island and go the longer route. Be a beautiful day. It's looking pretty already. So we call this the miserable mile, but Heather has dubbed it the magnificent mile <laughs> because Heather doesn't like going fast anyway. She likes to go out in the sun and lay on the deck. So she said, I love going through there. It's perfect. <laughs> Here, isn't it? So now you can say you've done the miserable mile. The whole composite dolphins spread around these signs for some reason. I feel like they like to feed there. <laughs> Between Sanibel on this side, St. James City is right over here, 
and we're running up what they call the power line. You can start to see the power lines now. I have a friend in Washington who I consider my personal philosopher. You know, you may need to have a personal philosopher like a personal trainer. Or in Puna Gorda, stopping at the boat ramp, time for some lunch, 